What's up guys, Fan Legend here, back again with another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing on doing the beginner's guide of 2023 to One Piece Treasure Cruise. So, if you haven't seen the first video I made at the beginning of this year, I'll leave a link in the card in the description and in the top somewhere in this video. If I remember to do that. So, uh, in today's video, we're going to be learning about the materials of the game this is not really that big of a deal but it is good i mean it's, for some instances it is but like overall you, you will figure out what these things do over time but it's best to learn them now so you know in like future videos where um i'm doing like teams or i'm just like showing off some things you know exactly what i'm talking about uh so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video right here so without any further ado let's get started learning the materials so the first materials we're gonna be learning about are going to be the exp materials now this is just kind of what the you know the name says they're unit they're materials that help you boost a unit's exp making them level up and uh it really anything in the game can be considered an exp material as long as they give a unit exp um but these units that you, uh, items you see on the screen right here are the ones that are going to give you the most amount of exp uh, outside of like uh like uh like i think big meat i think big uh turkeys or lobsters or something like that that will give you like an absurd amount of exp but these items right here turtles and the lobsters they're going to give you the most exp now turtles they come in all colors in all these different sizes obviously the like, small ones give you the least amount and the big ones like the princess turtle in the middle giving you the most amount of exp um and then you also have the rainbow turtles too which can go with any color doesn't matter what color it is it'll give you a lot of exp for that for that unit right there lobsters the same thing they can be different sizes you have the small one uh, the, the medium size one and the big ones, obviously going from least to, to most amount of EXP you're going to get from that item. And all the other items in the game vary in what EXP they actually give. So just keep an eye out and getting these items right here so you can boost up your characters. Moving on, we're going to be looking at the Almighty Manuals. So these books right here that you see right here are going to help you in leveling up a unit special level which in turn is going to lower the amount of turns it takes to activate their special. So the higher the special level, the lower the special cooldown is going to be for that unit. As you see on the side right here, uh, there's a unit right here. I think this is the uh, super tight Blackbeard, whose, level is, whose special level is maxed out, and it maxes out at 8 turns. So like I said, the, low, the higher that, um, that level is, the lower amount of turns you're gonna, it's going to take to activate that unit special. Now these books right here, they look just like the turtles, in the lobster they all come in different um not sizes but they come in different like varieties so we have like the uh, the glowing red ones those are mainly going to be used on like legend characters and the silver ones are going to be used for characters that are five star and below and then you have ones that are all different colors and you have ones that are different uh rarities so these are the silver books and these give you a chance of leveling up that special level and they're gold ones too that are called the absolute almighty annuals that will give you a guaranteed level up now, there are other ways of getting that special level up too. You can use a duplicate copy of that unit to special level up to level up their special level too. Um, just make sure you're using a duplicate copy and not just a similar character. So you can't use just any Blackbeard to level up any other Blackbeard. You got to use a Blackbeard that's literally in the same evolution tree as that Blackbeard. Now, moving on, we have the limit break materials. So these materials obviously aid in leveling up a unit's level um, limit break. And as you can see here in the tree for six plus judge, these are the limit break nodes here. You got these orange ones that are for, I think, increasing attack. The green ones increase recovery and the yellow ones increase HP. And you have these uh, like little anchors. These are the sailor abilities and you have the guy holding his fist up. These are potential abilities. So these materials are going to help you in accessing all of these um, upgraded stats and extra abilities for the unit. You have the potions on the left side here that vary in size, giving you a number of mastery points, as you can see in the image right there. You gotta have some mastery points to get to a certain level. You have to have enough limerick materials to actually get to that level and activate that node. So as you can see, the materials also come in varying sizes, and they also come in all colors. Uh, some materials are taken up more than others, like the small shards. You're gonna be using a lot of these shards um, more, way more than you're going to be using like, the other stuff. So you just got to make sure that you have a handle on how many materials you have. They have like a little thing right here, the available materials. You can see how many materials you actually have left. 
uh, so you can keep a track on like how much materials you're gonna have to be farming in stuff like treasure map because that's kind of the only place that's more that's the most accessible for getting these materials and everything. Now moving on, we're gonna be looking at the potential ability tablet, which you will be able to use after you max out a unit or after you act after you actually access these through the limit break system. So, um, actually going back to the limit break system for a minute, I forgot that I also put limit break plus on here. So the, what this is is basically just extra of these nodes here, uh, and these can be accessed. Uh, these can be accessed through things called limit break keys, which come in both gold, not both, but gold, silver, and blue. The gold ones are for legends only. The silver ones are for five star characters and below, and the blue ones are for treasure map characters. They have their own limit break keys for some reason, but I mean it's whatever. Um, and you use those keys to unlock those nodes, and then you can use more limit break materials to access those nodes. Now, do note that when you limit break expand a character, it takes a lot of materials. So you have to make sure you're upgrading the unit you're, you're definitely going to be using for something. It, like, you don't want to just upgrade any unit to, to have limit break expansion. You want to upgrade the right unit. So most of the, most of the time, units that ha have um, that pretty like five star characters that have like um, fear resistance or some kind of obscure limit ability that you're probably going to need at some point in time. Those are probably ones you want to be upgrading to have the limit break expansion, but not ones that just have the regular run of the mill uh, potential abilities. The uh, same thing with legends. Uh, legends don't get a, a, another limit break um, potential ability. They get uh, more so more stats cooldown, and sometimes an upgraded captain ability. So you want to be looking at those things to be seeing if you want to actually use your materials for this. Now, legends do take the most of your of your materials. I've done, I've done it before. They take a lot of materials to actually level up. So just like I said, be cautious of how much material you have and how much material you, you're going to be using when you do decide to learn make expand a character. Now we can talk about the potential abilities, which like I said, you get access to be to you when you upgrade their limit break, limit break uh, nodes and everything. So, potential abilities are basically passive abilities that certain units have. Um, now, not every unit, um, most units have potential abilities, but not everyone has like the same ones. Uh, this is unique for this character right here. Uh, I think it's uh, it, obviously it's Kaido versus Yamato there. And as you can see, they have these three abilities one being the arranged enrage on the left, the middle one being slot fire resistance, and the last one being a dual. Ability, the first one in the game to have this. I don't think every unit has this. This is the only unit that has it right here. Now, these tablets here help you level up these potential abilities to, to get their max usage out of them. But do note that these tablets do not have a guaranteed chance of leveling this up. There's actually a very small chance of you actually getting a level up from these tablets. A guaranteed way to do it, though, is to feed a dupe to the unit. So if you have another Kato versus Yamato, you can feed it to this Kato versus Yamato and you get a guaranteed level up in your potential abilities as, along with everything else. Uh, so just do note that. Um, moving on, we have the Forbidden Tome, or the Stock of Book, whatever you want to call them. And these are also going to level up passive abilities, but they can only be active when your crew as a collective reach a certain number, depending on how many socket, number, uh, socket points you have on your unit. So to better explain this, as you can see the, in the image here, we have a team that has a bunch of like 25, 23, 20, 24, and 5. This is the total amount of, of points that uh, each character has towards like this one, like say the top one right here, damage reduction. Um, all of our units on this team have 5 points for damage reduction. So this unit over here has, has 5, this right here is 5, this here is 5, this here is 5, and this here is 5. Oh, adding up to 25, letting me access a level 3 ability for damage reduction. Same thing for special cooldown, same thing for bind, and the spare, and auto heal, and so on and so forth. And the way to get those points is through these books right here, called Forbidden Tomes, or Socket Books, whatever you want to call them. Now, as you can see, two of these do have images on them, and one of them does not. The one without the image gives you a random one of these abilities, and the ones with images obviously give you the ones that there's on that's on the book. So you want special cooldown, you go for that middle book right there. If you want damage reduction, you go for that other book right there. If you just want a random ability, you can just go for the one on the end. Um, but you you will be able to access all of these books by playing uh, one of the islands that are in the um, in the event island. They come, I think they come like every so every so often. 
they, re they reset every day, uh, but this island like comes every so often in that reset. So be on the lookout to get these books right here. Um, there's other ways to actually uh, get the socket number two. You can also use, this is where I was uh, making the distinction of a similar unit and the exact same kind of unit. So you can use any Luffy on another Luffy to get a socket book or a socket point or whatever. Uh, you don't have to use a Luffy in that same evolution tree. But you, you can use any Luffy in the game that you want to get that socket point. Now we have to talk about the support medals, which obviously level up a unit support ability. Um, so as you can see right here, these medals, uh, they give you either a chance or a guaranteed chance of leveling up a unit support ability, which you, as you can see on the side here is really, really, really what that is right there. So this is the, uh, I think this is the same black beard here that I talked about earlier, who uh, the support abilities are basically abilities that activate when you have them attached to another character. So as you can see here, he can attach to Lafitte, Van Ogre, Jesus Burgess, Burgess um, and Shiryu and Doc Q. And when you do have that unit attached to that unit, uh, then you can see the requirements that it to activate the support ability itself. You have to use that character special in a quest and then you get whatever effect they say happens. Now, that's not the only requirement for all support abilities. Some activate when you enter the final stage, some activate when you get debuffed, some activate when you um, do whatever, really. Uh, some just give you stats and just kind of some, some damage reduction and everything. Those are kind of like the mad ones, but there are some really good ones that give you some really good, uh, really good amount of stats. I think like two or so Luffy's give you really good stats out of that. Raja gives you really good stats. Um, dual units do not have support abilities just because of the fact they're dual units, which, I mean, it, that makes sense. But this is what the support ability thing is all about right here. Now, this again can be leveled up using a duplicate unit. Uh, so you have to use that same Blackbeard on another black on that same Blackbeard to get a support ability level up and the guarantees one too. So moving on, we have Cotton Candy. Now, Cotton Candy is pretty good because it buffs up your, the base stats of, all, of your unit. So as you can see, they come in all four. They come in four colors, and they all buff different things. So the orange cotton candy will buff a uh, unit's HP by five for every one that you give them. So if you give them two, they get ten. If you give them like five, they get twenty-five plus added to their HP. The attack cotton candy, which is the red cotton candy, will give your unit more stats for attack. For or like two, plus two for every one, so just like the, the HP, uh, if you give them like five, you get ten. If you give them like twenty, you get forty. I think if I do my math right. And then for the recovery cotton candy, which is the green one, you get one for every one. So it's kind of pretty simple right there. And the yellow one gives you give you uh, gives your units. Um, it buffs all the stats by whatever number is listed on that cotton candy. So if it's one hundred, then all of your um, I think, I think it's like all of your, either 300 or one, I can't remember how it works for some reason at this point in time, but they do buff up all the stats at once. It doesn't have to be individual like it, like it is for the other ones right there. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is Pirate Rumble Scrolls. And these scrolls are used to level up a unit's PvP abilities, which include Pirate Rumble, their uh, Rumble abilities, and their Grand Party abilities, if they have any at all. Now these also come in all colors, and they come in three rarities, bronze, be, uh, bronze, silver, and gold, all giving you varying amounts of EXP. These are pretty, it's pretty simple to explain here. Uh, you can mainly get these through playing uh, Pirate Rumble itself and uh, do Chopper Man missions because they do give out some, uh, uh, pretty much a good bit of these scrolls here. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be level limit break materials. Now, this is the newest addition to the game. I think as of last year, Sometime during the beginning of last year, we got this uh, update, either last year or the, the, the year before that, I can't remember when it came out, but we had got this um, update here for level limit break, letting units access even more buffed abilities. So, when you level up a character's level limit break, you, as you see on the side here, if they have these abilities, you get access to these abilities, like, I think this is the, what unit is this, I think, what unit is this, I can't remember what unit this is, I don't know why. Um, this is some flasher unit. I don't know what it is, um, but you do get these abilities when you do level up this character. I really want to know what this character is. I have no idea why I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, you get these abilities and you can level this up using these little posters right here. They come in both red and these regular ones. Red giving you uh, level, uh, level up with legends and the regular ones giving you five star below. 
and they all come in all colors too. And the other way you can do, you can get the level limit break is by using duplicate units, just like the potential abilities and the special level. So that really wraps up this today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out, and I will see you guys in the next video.